Charlemagne and the Pope by Stephen Curry. Newspapers did not exist in the time of Charlemagne, but let's pretend one did. The Frankish Post Gazette. Son born to king and queen, Pope sends best wishes. April 742. Last night, Bertreda, queen of the Franks, gave birth to a boy named Charles. Mother and child are said to be doing fine. Good wishes are pouring in from kings, lords, and bishops across Europe. Pope Zachary said he hopes the baby will grow up to be the second most powerful person in Europe, next to Zachary himself. A spokesperson for King Pepin the Short described the baby as incredibly cute, but a nurse present at the birth disagreed. The kid is huge, she told our reporter. He's already half the size of his father. Of course, with a dad called Pepin the Short, that's not difficult. The Frankish Post-Gazette. Pepin's life cut short. Long live new kings. September 768. The Frankish king Pepin the Short died yesterday after a short illness. Royal doctors did not release the cause of death. However, they say that poison had been ruled out. His kingdom will be divided between his sons, Charles, known as Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, and Carloman. Newly elected Pope Stephen sent a message from Rome approving of the split. The boundaries of the new kingdoms have not been determined, but most Franks have an opinion on the issue. In a survey taken by Post-Gazette staffers, 73% of adult Franks agreed with the statement, I would prefer to be ruled by Charlemagne than by Carloman. Carloman is an, is an ordinary guy, said one woodworker, but Charlemagne is, an, is emperor material. If I can't be in Charlemagne's territory, I quit. The Frankish Post-Gazette Attacks Tax Saxons December 772 Charlemagne has conquered the nearby Saxons. All Saxony is now under the thumb of the Frankish king, reports a general. Next, we will overcome Bavaria and Lombardy. It was a great victory, says a soldier. Charlemagne showed up covered in iron, with the sun's rays reflecting off the metal. The Saxons all ran in terror. It was cool. Our loyal readers will recall that Charlemagne has ruled all of the Frank land since a death from natural causes, poison had been ruled out, of his brother, Carloman. Charlemagne has begun expanding the borders of his kingdom. Perhaps he wants to become emperor, the first emperor in Western Europe since 476. Great leaders need big territories, explains an aide. This guy is Charlemagne, right? Charles the Great, not Charles the Merely Okay. In other news, Pope Stephen was replaced by Pope Adrian. Details were unavailable at press time. The Frankish Post-Gazette. Charlemagne to Pope. Who's number one? April 774. Franklin is bigger than ever. Charlemagne's armies have nearly reached to Rome. Last night, Pope Adrian met with Charlemagne and asked for some of the king's lands. Adrian thinks popes should have more power, explained one of Adrian's assistants. The pope should be number one, but kings don't take, home, take him seriously anymore. Extra land would help. Charlemagne has plenty of land. Why not share? Charlemagne refused. Turning the Pope down suggests that Charlemagne wants to be emperor, not just king, said one scholar. He wants to run the government and the church. Charlemagne, however, had no comment. We won this territory through hard work, points out a general. We use soldiers, weapons, and armor. If the Pope wants more land, maybe he should get an iron suit like the one of Charlemagne like the one Charlemagne wears. The Frankish Post-Gazette. New Pope chosen. Charlemagne gives him half a thumbs up. December 795. Following the unexpected death of Pope Adrian, from natural causes, poison has been ruled out. Bishops in Rome have chosen a new leader for the church. Pope Leo III is set to take office next week, 
but there's a difference of opinion about the choice. Some have accused Leo of immoral behavior in the past. Charlemagne's public relations officer reported the king's reaction to the change in popes. He's sorry to lose Adrian. They were good friends. As for Leo, well, he was the best man available. The Frankish Post-Gazette. Charlemagne rescues Pope from angry mob. Leo grateful. May 799. Last month, Pope Leo was savagely attacked on the streets of Rome. A mob with knives beat him and tried to cut out his eyes. It was awful, said a Roman who saw the events. Of course, Leo had it coming, with all that immoral behavior. Leo escaped, but staying in Rome was out of the question. Too dangerous, said an aide. His enemies are everywhere. So, the Pope sent a message to Charlemagne begging for help. According to a palace source, Charlemagne has decided to send troops to Rome to attack Leo's enemies. We don't expect a reward, said the source, but if the Pope feels like doing something nice for Charlemagne in return, we can think of a few possibilities. The Frankish Post-Gazette King made emperor as thousands cheer. December 800 Just call him Emperor Charlemagne. Last year, loyal readers will recall Charlemagne's rescued Pope Leo from a a mob of angry Romans, and sent troops to wipe out Leo's enemies. Yesterday, it was payback time. Leo formally crowned Charlemagne for the, f the first Western Roman emperor in more than three centuries. The mood in Rome, where the ceremony took place, was joyful and enthusiastic. We always knew Charlemagne was the greatest, said a citizen. Charlemagne wore a long tunic with a golden belt and jeweled sandals. At the high point of the ceremony, Leo placed a golden crown on Charlemagne's head. Then Pope Leo lay on the floor and kissed the hem of Charlemagne's cloak. The ceremony proved that Charlemagne is now more powerful than the Pope, experts agree. As Western Roman Emperor, Charlemagne leads both church and government. Charlemagne's number one, said one. Leo's now number two. Predicted one person who watched... This Roman Empire idea will probably catch on. I wouldn't be surprised if we had Roman emperors running around for the next thousand years or so.